Hi, my name is Gil Kaplan. I'm a gastroenterologist and epidemiologist here at the University of Calgary. My name is Sunny Singh, and I'm an Advanced Inflammatory Bowel Disease Fellow here at the University of Calgary. And today we're going to talk to you about our paper published in Gastroenterology entitled Postoperative Mortality Among Patients with Inflammatory Bowel Diseases, a Systematic Review and Meta-Analysis of Population-Based Studies. We have the privilege of presenting the study on behalf of our co-authors, Dr. Al Demarki, Frolkis, CO, Liang, Novak, Ghosh, Eckstein, and Panaccioni. So patients with Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis often face a difficult decision of whether they need to have an operation or not. In fact, a previous meta-analysis demonstrated that nearly 50% of patients with Crohn's disease will need an operation within 10 years of their diagnosis. Similarly, upwards to 15% of patients with ulcerative colitis require colectomy within 10 years of their diagnosis. Um, many factors influence the decision to have surgery, including the perceived risk of the operation. Importantly is that risk of death following an operation. Now, if you look at the studies, there's a tremendous amount of heterogeneity, with some studies reporting very high rates of death following an operation, and others saying that it's otherwise negligible. And due to the discrepancy of this data, we set out to do a systematic review and meta-analysis of population-based studies to determine the risk of death following an intestinal resection for ulcerative colitis and Crohn's disease. So Sunny, what did we do in this study? We performed a literature search of Embase, PubMed, and Medline between 1990 and 2015. Particularly, we included studies that were high-quality population-based studies that reported on the risk of postoperative mortality for IBD patients. And in particular, we looked for studies that were published after 1990 to look at the risk of death in the modern era. Now, to identify sources of heterogeneity, we realized one of those would be the role of elective surgery versus emergent surgery. To display our results, we created a forest plot to collate the data from the included studies. I'll direct your attention to the highlighted red circle. And in this case, this is a forest plot of ulcerative colitis uh, patients looking at elective surgery versus emergent surgery in the setting of postoperative mortality. Now, for int uh, intestinal resections which are elective, your risk of postoperative mortality is 0.7%. However, for the emergent situation, this climbs to 5.3%, which is considerably higher in the emergent setting. Now, for Crohn's disease, the risk of postoperative mortality in elective intestinal resections is 0.6%. However, in the emergent setting, this climbs to 3.6%. Again, this highlights the fact that emergent situations come with a higher postoperative mortality rate. So we should review these results in the context of the limitations of our study. Um, we selected high quality population based studies, but many of these studies did not include key factors that would be clinically relevant in terms of determining the risk of death following surgery. So for example, uh, we weren't able to look at whether smoking influenced the risk of death in somebody who had uh, Crohn's disease. Um, additionally, we didn't have data on medication, so if you had a steroid or a biologic before an operation, did that influence the risk of, of surgery? We weren't able to stratify the analysis based on surgical indications, so it's an operation of the small bowel different from the operation of the large bowel. And similarly, we lacked data on disease phenotype or severity at time of operation, and all of these factors could influence the risk of surgery following, sorry, the risk of death following surgery. Um, despite these limitations, I would say the key take-home message is that IBD patients who undergo an elective operation have a considerably reduced risk of death compared to those having an emergent operation. So Sunny, how would you use this information in your clinical practice? You know, I think that's helpful in a clinical setting. So I think it'll help patients better understand the risk of post-operative mortality with respect to intestinal resections. I think it'll help gastroenterologists help manage and counsel inflammatory bowel disease patients. And finally, I think it'll help hospital administrators with respect to resource planning and healthcare allocation. Yeah, and I would add that it's, for future studies, it's key that we identify factors that influence the need for an emergent operation, because really that's where we saw the highest risk of death. Absolutely.